now to welcome one of the toughest female guests we've ever had. When the likes of Jennifer Garner, Anne Hathaway and Sharon Stone get a bit rough and ready in the movies, chances are it's not really them getting their makeup smudged. You're just a scared little girl playing dress-up. In fact, we know it's not them because those moves belong to Aussie Kai Ferno. Kai's stunty story begins a little differently. A car accident when she was 19 left her with a fractured spine. Fast forward a few years and this is what she gets up to. For the film Thor, Kai won the stunt world's equivalent of the Oscars, the Taurus Award, in 2012. Often referred to as the female Bear Grylls, Kai has gathered together all her practical lessons to write a book for other women in case they find themselves in similar situations to what she does every day. Please welcome Kai Ferno. <laughs> Hey, Kai, I was going to get straight into it. You, you, uh, you work with Sharon Stone. Yes. Uh, okay, now let's uh, not beat around the bush. Uh, did you work on Basic Instinct? No. <laughs> no? No. And she didn't need a stunt double for that, I don't <laughs> you, were, you have worked with some pretty cool people, though. What have been some of your favourites? Oh, I love the Aussie boys. You know, Chris Hemsworth is amazing and Hugh Jackman was really, really incredible. I mean, I work with Tony Collette. She's absolutely lovely. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger sang me happy birthday on my birthday. Wow. So, I mean, <laughs> that but was a very cool experience. I'm just trying to imagine that and that sounds like the weirdest <laughs> thing in the world. It was. And it was midnight too. So, you know, it's one of those things you're a bit disorientated and he says, happy birthday. <laughs> Sam Worthington? No, I haven't actually. I haven't had the honour yet. What about well, you? Or Lara Bingle. She could do with a stunt double. What about Jackman? You mentioned him there. Yeah. What, what did you make of his uh, stunt work in, at the Opera House with Oprah when he slammed into the... You know, I know some stuntmen that would have taken a hit like that and probably gone backstage, but he just got on with it. I was, I was hugely impressed with that. I've, I've got to ask, have you ever done stunt work for anyone and they've then taken credit for it and said, oh, I do all my own stunts? I think pretty much everybody that I've worked with. Really? <laughs> really? I mean, that's just part of the job. You don't do stunt work for the glory. You just, you know, you do it for, for the thrill of the job. But now's your chance to get them back. Who were they? Give us names. <laughs> <laughs> just look at my resume. <laughs> What's the craziest you've ever done? Um, they're all pretty crazy, but I think the craziest one was on X-Men 3, where Magneto is chucking these cars in the air and then Pyro is lighting them on fire, and we're literally in this tiny little courtyard running from real cars that have been shot into the sky and then exploded, and you don't know where they're going to land. So you're wow. just sort of doing this, like, dodgy thing. It's like hoping. a really extreme game of Frogger. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or whack-a-mole or something, yeah. you know? <laughs> How did you end up where you are? Because obviously we just heard that you had a, fairly, a very serious accident when you were a teenager. I mean, mm. the next step wouldn't be to say, I want to be a stunt woman. Um, I think I'd been told that it wouldn't be possible for me to be physically active again in my life and I just wanted to prove everybody wrong. To the extreme. <laughs> to the extreme. <laughs> Did you actually think that you were indestructible and you were going to use that? Uh, no, I don't think I have that superpower. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Um, now, you, you were also on another, another project, a television show called Naked and, and Afraid, which, which sounds like my early dating life, but can you, <laughs> can you, can you talk us through what the show was? Um, basically, me and another guy uh, dropped in the middle of the wilderness for 21 days with nothing, not even um, clothes on our back. So, yeah, and we were unfortunate to be dumped in the Louisiana swamplands in the coldest May on record. So it was not a time that you want to be anywhere with no clothes, let alone in a swamp full of alligators and poisonous snakes. But in a cold environment, clearly huddling together to keep warm? Is that awkward? <laughs> Yeah, we, we lit a fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet you did. Uh, <laughs> what was scarier, swimming with alligators or having you know, millions of Americans you know, watch, you, watch you nude uh, on TV? Um, probably I prefer the alligators, but <laughs> um, once, you know, once four million people have seen you naked, what's another, like, 36 million oh, or yeah. so, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Congratulations, though, so it's like a big fuzzy bikini. <laughs> well, your new book, Girls' Own Survival Guide, uh, hits shelves tomorrow. It's been a pleasure having you here. Would you please thank Kai? <laughs>